Hello again everybody, today we are going to be reviewing the USB 3.0 to HDMI adapter made by Nextech. This guy will let you get an HDMI port out of your computer from a USB 3.0 port which is super useful if you like running multiple monitors and the great thing about this was it was only $30 Canadian. I will post the link for this on the source down in the description so take a look at that after the video. Well let's get right into this. As you can see, uh, it comes in a clear packaging like this with some simple instructions at the back, as you can see. Um, basically, it's just telling you what you're capable of doing it. You're ex uh, able to add an extra port using USB 3.0. It's powered by the USB 3.0. Um, uh, really basic information, not much to know about it right on the package. So let's get it. It looks like it's easy to open because we just take a look we can just split that in half oh oh that's cool okay so it seems as if they've supplied a USB 3.0 cable with the kit which is really cool because I thought I'd have to buy one later so that's super useful to have so we'll just leave this off to the side here so we have the USB cable right here okay um, and this compartment is where the adapter itself is kept. So very simple packaging. Um, but this is the adapter itself, and it wow, just feeling it right now. This has a really smooth, and it's very very light. That's the first thing I realized while holding this. As you can see, we have a microphone input, HDMI output, and I'm not really sure what that is. I believe that is just a headphone jack. But I will double check that and let you guys know later. So, uh, here is your USB 3.0 port, which then you'll insert the, ca the supplied cable and plug this into your USB 3.0 port on your computer. So, very, very simple. I love that about this. No extra AC charger adapters, nothing like that. Simple USB 3.0. So, this is what they supply you in the kit. Um, and I love this. So, okay, so let's get on to the testing of this kit now. Okay, guys, so here we are. And um, I've simply connected um, a, actually, it's a VGA monitor, so I had to get a separate adapter for this online. I can show you this in the description as well, so take a look after. I got this one on Amazon. So I simply insert that into my VGA cable, and then that then is going to go into our little adapter and I have that cord running to my computer. So there it is going into my computer. It's a very simple setup. All I have is the USB cable running into my computer and then we have the adapter attached to that going to my monitor. So as you can see we have my computer and the monitor right above it and we have our connection right here so this is working great and um, there is like zero lag it's like 100 percent fluent so for a uh, for a test of this I really like how it it translates and how uh, easy it was to use it's very plug-and-play no drivers required so that was really nice uh, to use so that was really great 